Guys, Pastor HD here. Today, guys, we're gonna be bringing you an amazing video, a high, highly requested video because I remember back then you guys had that segment fault, and that was at like what version 0.16. This is 1.0.7, which is insane. And I will be teaching exactly how to update your server. But today, guys, what we're gonna be doing is showing you guys how to create a server on your Android device. It is not with anything else that you have seen, so like Pocket Mine or just you know Pocket Server. This is a complete new method, and hopefully it does work. I had to do a little editing, but it worked for me, and it should be working for you guys. But yeah, before this video, let's try to get 50 likes, which is literally the most amount of likes I've ever asked. I asked usually for 30, we reach it. But let's get 50 likes in this video, guys. And if you guys, if you guys are not subscribed, subscribe to join that Wither Army for that beautiful high quality videos anyways let's get straight into this video all the links all that just will be in the description below and um yeah let's just get straight into this video so these are the links you all what you need is the genesis apk i just uninstalled all of them by the way um so what you need is a genesis apk you need the php.zip and you need the genesis.zip and you need the src as well the src is very important that's basically the version of your server which you can find right here and i didn't install it. some of you guys may even know how to install this um but yeah i will be teaching you that as well now to basically install just make sure that you click on the three little dots and you are on desktop mode and then um go to this link and then just click on clone or download and just click on download zip and you are basically all set to go and you're gonna have to extract it from there which i will be showing you guys and that's what exactly es file explorer will come into hand so make sure you have es file explorer which is on the google play store it is completely free make sure that is installed now once you have all these installed what you want to do is open es file explorer just you know cancel all those pop-ups and all that and um you are basically set to go you will be prompted to this page if you guys are on android phone it will look a bit different but you guys get the gist make sure you go to favorite and you just go to downloads and um there's all the stuff that you downloaded now what you want to do guys is download the apk and open the app this is very if you don't open the app you're not going to find the folder at all so um make sure you install it and then um, I'm going to show you guys this. If you don't open the app, you're not going to find the folder at all. It's usually right here, but you're not going to find it at all as soon as you open the app. So there we go. We got Genesis right there. As soon as you open the app, it's just going to do this little stuff. Um, Of course, it's going to say workspace. What you're going to do is just click on enter and it's going to say, you know, you need to port the PHP.zip, the Genesis.zip into SD card slash Genesis, which we are going to do right now. As soon as you open the app for the first time, it will create a folder right in your um little, you know, main thing where you just showed. So it's going to create a folder. And now we have to do just port everything from you know the download straight into that folder which is really easy but there is something else that you have to do so as you guys see we are back it has that genesis symbol which is the app and if you click on it the only thing that you should find in here do not delete this at all is the tmp that's the only thing you're gonna find and there's nothing in the tmp at all so now what you want to do guys is go to your download and um what you want to do is you basically copy both of these or you can just cut it it really doesn't matter um so cut it go straight back and just you know go right here and paste it now um you can just basically do this um you can go straight into the folder just hold it all right and you can just go to some more which is in the bottom right and just click on add to favorites and um this is basically going to add it to favorites so if you scroll down you're going to see genesis right there now hold up don't start your server guys do not start your server what you want to do is go to your downloads and as you guys see you're going to have this tesseract-master.zip now what you want to do is hold on it go on the three little dots in the bottom right that says more and um now what you want to do is click on um extract two and just click okay now it's going to basically make it into a folder so you can get the src folder which you need to make your version of your server 1.0.7 and of course to make it work so as you guys see we have your tesseract master now what we're going to do is click on it click on it again and as you guys see we have the src so what we're going to do is just hold on it you can copy a cut really doesn't matter um so what we're going to do is just cut we're going to go straight into genesis which we added as our favorite so we're going to go like that and what we're going to do is paste it and you are literally set to go and um if you guys want to ever update your server make sure you guys go straight to the link this link and um usually they do update the server so what you do is just basically de delete the src and once you delete the src make sure you go scroll down and um as you guys see it's tesseract is supported make sure it says 1.0.8 as soon as the next update comes out and um you will be able to update your server really really easily but as you guys see we are literally set now what we're gonna do is just go into the genesis app and do not just click on a all right click on a and then press on enter now it's gonna do all this stuff it may take a long time it may not depending on your device and as you guys see it says done and now it just says press enter to continue so we're gonna press enter now what we're gonna do is press on B press enter and as you guys see we got all 
of this stuff now um we're gonna just type in the language or just type in eng or you can just type in whatever you guys want to um your preference so i'm gonna type in eng now we're just gonna type in why i'm um, to accept the license and if you guys want to um skip the installer you guys can um but if you guys don't want to you don't have to so i'm just gonna click on the y as well and there we go as you guys see everything is loading and as you guys see there's literally no errors everything is loaded and it's just so amazing and as you guys see this says the version right there 1.0.7.0 what we're gonna do is hop into minecraft pocket edition just to show you that this works and um yeah let's go so as you guys see we are on minecraft pocket edition make sure that you guys are on the version that it says so 1.0.7 the latest version what we're gonna do guys just click on play we're gonna go to friends we're gonna wait a little and um now we should be seeing a pop-up if you guys are running the server on that device so if you're running it on your phone you should be seeing a pop-up but for some reason i do have um the internet off so i'm gonna turn it back on and hopefully it does work and as you guys see there it is it says minecraft pe server and of course it, whatever you change it to it'll show it right there so what we're gonna do guys is click on it and then um there there you go it's gonna basically build terrain it's gonna take around like a minute to build terrain since you just made your server um don't worry guys if it takes a while to actually build terrain um it, it will be quick it will be slow depending on your device or just your connection but it's it's mainly your device you're just building those terrains so it's gonna be pretty quick for me probably be gonna be like 30 seconds but i'll be right back guys once we hop into the server all right guys it just said path hd 123 join the game and there we go we are set look at this baby and it's gonna be pretty smooth depending on your connection and your device now i'm using the video shield which is an amazing tablet so it is pretty darn smooth to say for myself look at that that's just beautiful now you guys are going to notice that you're not op that is perfectly fine what you want to do is just basically go into the genesis app and then once you go into the genesis app just type in op and then your name so um, i'm just going to do op um patar hd one two three um let's just do that so patch hd one two three all right and then now what we're gonna do is just go straight back into the game hopefully it didn't disconnect us please tell me it didn't disconnect us there we go um and now it says you are op now you can just basically change your game mode that's exactly how you op yourself some of you guys didn't even know how to op yourself on console well that is how you op yourself and you just do slash game mode c and um you are basically set to go look at that beautiful very very smooth surprisingly smooth i love genesis way better than pokemon pokemon's just so plain and the plus it is kind of buggy genesis is the same but i haven't seen any bugs from this at all since i you know fixed it and stuff like that now if you guys want to basically stop your server it is pretty easy what you want to do is just type in stop and then you just press on enter it's going to stop it's going to say unloading make sure it's finished unloading don't just stop and just leave because it could you know possibly do something it might even you know just i don't even know you may have to redo the process but as you guess it's press enter to continue and if you guys want to start your server all you have to do guys just press on b again and then basically it's going to start the server and then it's going to stop and it's going to be done and of course if you want to stop it again you just basically do stop and it's going to stop the server make sure you finish unloading and all that stuff and set until it says press enter to continue do not leave the genesis app now some of you guys maybe experienced this um it happened last video and i will be discussing it right now is that you may not even see the thing or you are on a complete different device well if you guys are in the same wi-fi network um what you want to do is basically just go down or you just may not even see it in your device in general um so what you want to do guys is go into settings and um once you go into settings go into your wi-fi so as you guys see this is my wi-fi um what we're gonna do is just hold down on it um hold down and it's just say modify network um, i'm gonna click on modify network and um now you have to put your password and stuff like that um so once you put your password and then you're gonna uh, let me just put my password i'll be right back all right guys um you don't even need to put your password i am so sorry for, so once you go Go into your settings hold on it modify your network you're already connected so it doesn't really make sense to put your password what you want to do is just click on advanced options and then go to your ip settings and then put it onto static once you put it into static you're going to see um a little thing that says like 10.0.0.1 um so your gateway is 192.168.1.1 um, but if you guys are port forward it's going to say like 10.0.0. thing but um as you guys see your gateway is what you want to copy and paste into that other device that has in your wi-fi network and put the port as 10132 or whatever you change it to just put it to that but as you guys see that is the gateway um and um and then you just basically paste into that other device and it should be working 
perfectly fine hopefully that worked um for some reason it should be showing like 10.0.11 um whatever thing but um if it shows it for you guys make sure you put like 10.0.0.11 or whatever it says on your device onto that other device or your current device and then just put it as 10132 since you haven't changed the port if you change the port guys make sure you change the port of your port forwarded thing so if you're on Xfinity make sure it's on 191 um or whatever um but if it's on a 10132 it's fine it's just the default thing but um yeah that is how you do that everything is discussed how to update how to create your server and just how all the issues from last video which is like a year ago have been resolved in the video and hopefully it works for you guys so thank you guys for watching the video if you guys enjoyed this video and it actually worked for you smash that like button if you guys are not subscribed subscribe to join that warrior army for that beautiful and high quality content as usual smash that like button try to get 50 likes which is of course the most amount of likes i've ever asked in a video i usually ask for 30 but we are doing 20 above that 30 which is 50 so let's try to hit 50 likes in this video and um yeah i'm so glad that i fixed genesis it was so buggy but i fixed it all the links all that just will be in the description below and um let me know if you guys have any issues let me know hopefully i can resolve it um but yeah thank you guys for watching the video Patrick D here. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.